You know, I'm starting to think that this mold issue is going to be like a series or something, like episode 1, episode 2, because I've got a third enclosure with the mold. This one, the holes, the ventilation holes are larger than those that are even smaller and don't have mold. So it makes me wonder if this entire room is already filled with mold spores. Probably, I'm not sure. Many of you may have watched the previous two mold videos. Now the first one, a lot of you asked if it was the Thailand Black. No, it wasn't. That species was given to me by a friend of mine and I was told it was a, a one species, but then when I looked it up, it was definitely another species, so I'm not really sure what it was. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. And then there was my Thailand Black. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. But today, I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one because you know who's in here. It's definitely gonna give me some fun because look who's in here. Yeah, beside the mold. There's a mold over here, so it may give you a little clue on who is in this enclosure. And if we turn around here, yep, it's the OBT. Now this is gonna be pretty fun. I'm pretty sure she's gonna give me some good reactions. Oh my goodness, look at her. Okay, so hopefully she cooperates with me. I mean, if she doesn't, then you guys are in for a treat. But if she does, then I'm in for a treat. First of all, I'm gonna remove this piece of wood over here. She's probably in, oh, there she is. This is definitely not a good idea because she can run out anytime and run onto my hands. So I'm not gonna be touching this wood for now. What I'm gonna do now is Get this filled up because I'm going to keep her in this temporarily, temporarily <laughs> and mess with this enclosure. Either that or what I'm going to do is get this Devas Pentaloris into this enclosure over here and get the OBT into here. So I'm going to get the Davis Pentaloris out first into this enclosure, well container, and then get this filled up with substrate and put the OBT in here because this one, just like in my Thailand Black video, there is a lot of ventilation. So wet substrate will evaporate really quickly and I will just take this Davis Pentaloris dry substrate and put it into this enclosure over here. So let's get this started. Let's get the Davis Pentaloris into this catch cup first. This one is a female by the way. Okay, let's put her here for now. Now I'm gonna have to get the OBT into this tub. Okay, I don't know where I put my tripod, so I'm gonna have to make do with one hand. So wish me luck and let's hope that this goes smoothly. Oh man, this is gonna be fun, I can tell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go, got the wood out, let's put it over here first, and now hopefully I don't mess up. I've got a weird feeling that I will, and of course I have to choose a cup that doesn't fit. Okay, I want to get her onto the substrate so I can just like cup her, because at this angle it's going to be difficult, so I'm going to put this over here, and then use my tongs to just prod her. She is definitely not happy, but I gotta do this anyway. Nope, you're not coming out. Go up, go up. There we go. Good girl. Bad idea, but <laughs> have a look at her, guys. There she is. We'll put her beside the Pantaloris for now, so... There. You guys. Talk to each other. Have a nice conversation. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get this all cleaned out and disinfect it. Oh, by the way, we'll use this for a future video. I've got a video in mind, so we'll see. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah, I'm gonna get all this substrate dumped out, so don't judge me touching mold. Okay, got it washed, disinfected. Now all I have to do is get this dry substrate. This is the Davis Pentaloris substrate 
and get it into this enclosure over here. So first, we're gonna get the hide. She doesn't really use it, but I just put it in there because it makes it look like a hill. So we'll just drop it in like that. And then get the substrate. This is the web, by the way, so I'll just put it on top like that. And then now the rest of the substrate, I'll just pour it in. Now this one shouldn't grow mold because it's really dry. It's almost bone dry, but I do occasionally mist this tea, so it's fine. Now that is a lot of substrate. And I had to bury the hide, so <laughs> let's get it out. Yeah, put it at some form of angle like this, that way she can go in when she wants and just it doesn't have to be too neat, they don't really care anyway, so pack it down, get the rest of the substrate. Pack it down because they don't like loose substrate. And then just get the hole open, just like that. So there's the Davis Pantelaris new enclosure. Just put a water dish at the corner over here and it's good as new. Now we're gonna get her and put her into her new enclosure, sort of. Quite a beautiful tarantula. This is also known as the Guatemalan tiger rump, I believe. So, oh, a little bolty. And she found a hide, I guess. Oh, no, maybe not. But there she is. So this enclosure is gonna be the perfect size for her because these guys only get to about 4 inches in leg span. So that will be it for this tarantula. Now, the fun begins. I'm gonna get this enclosure washed up as well and I will be back. I'm not gonna be using this wood as for now because definitely there will be mold spores on this wood. Probably even mold underneath so I'm gonna have to disinfect this wood. Just throw it into bleach or something and use it for future tarantulas. But in this one, we're gonna be using a fish. <laughs> a fish for the tarantula's anchor point. So I'm just gonna like put it over here, something like that, and then the tarantula can just web on it and hide behind or do whatever it wants. So now we're gonna get the substrate in for this enclosure, but this substrate is still a little bit damp. Not dripping wet, but it's damp enough that it will evaporate within a couple days. So no worries about that. There we go. Now this is literally a fish out of water. It's like, <laughs> it's coming out of the substrate for air or something. But now we're just gonna have to pack the substrate down because tarantulas don't like loose substrate. What was that voice even? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is how we do it. I'm gonna add in some coconut husk or something and it'll be pretty much done. That should be good. Let's just throw in fake leaves, cause why not? The tarantula is probably gonna web it up anyway, so we're not gonna be able to see it. Just put it there for now. And that will be the final enclosure for the OBT. Now, hmm, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna like put it in here. And oh my. <laughs> and then I'll get the lid and then close it. Oh my goodness, I had to zip lock this cover. <sighs> Why am I like this? So which one of you don't have a zip lock? Yeah, you. But you, yeah, it has to be the Thailand black. Why? Okay, you better like, just sit there and don't come out. Okay, gonna have to do this quick before the Thailand black decides to disobey me. Now I just open this and then we get the OBT out. There we go, simple as pie, easy as pie. Now we can remove this and put it back on this girl. There we go, perfect. So there is the OBT. Yeah, not gonna look at her for too long because she can just like run out anytime. I'm just gonna get this cup out. Hopefully I don't drop it on her. Yeah, and then mission accomplished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're also free to thumbs it down. 
If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that little notification, no, no, <laughs> notification bell, which is beside it. And if you'd like to support me through Patreon as well as check out the social media links, everything's in the description below. So feel free to go check those out. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. We'll do an update on her after she webs up everything.